A few years ago, I made a cake that looks like garlic. And since then, my cake making skills have developed, so I'm going to remake it today, but a better, new and improved version. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that do not look like cakes. And today I'm gonna to show you how I made a garlic cake. I'll tell you what, this is one of those cakes that I love. And there's a couple reasons why I love it. The first is I get to use wafer paper, which is edible paper. And whenever I get to use it on a cake, people get very confused. Wafer paper isn't extremely common, so when people see it used on my cakes, their minds are blown. They're surprised that it's edible. And sometimes they don't believe that it's edible at all. And then they accuse me of just putting real garlic skin on a cake. And that just means I did a good job. <laughs> I will take that accusation as a compliment. Also, when I go to cut this cake, that wafer paper is going to crunch. And it's gonna make a sound super similar to how real garlic skin crunches. So not only will it look like garlic, but it'll also sound like garlic. I don't get to have that with every cake I make. They usually don't sound like the object I made. I'm gonna cut this cake at the end of this video, so you're gonna get to hear that. The other reason I like this cake is, well, because it's garlic. <laughs> when I think of garlic, I think of how it smells and how it tastes. So the fact that this garlic is actually a cake is just strange. And you know I love strange cakes. Like, I've made an apple cake, but eating an apple is no big deal. But garlic, like, just imagine eating a piece of raw garlic. I wouldn't want to do that. Mm -mm. Like I said earlier, this is my second garlic cake. But this time around, I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult by recreating the bulb open. So it's like broken open. Not a whole bulb, but a half bulb. So each of the cloves are cake covered in modeling chocolate, and anything that looks like garlic skin is wafer paper. You know, I've considered making a cake of some rotten fruit, like with mold and all. What do you guys think? Do you think it would be like kind of neat or do you think I should probably pass on that one? <laughs> because I used chocolate cake for this one, I feel like it's going to look a lot like black garlic. Have you ever heard of black garlic? It's garlic that has been fermented, which changes the flavor and the texture. So it's like soft and it's chewy and it tastes sweeter and it's healthy. <laughs> Definitely healthier than cake, but we, we don't have to talk about that right now. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> so a couple days ago, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and I was like tossing and turning and I like could not get back to sleep. So I went in the kitchen for a glass of water and I realized I was hungry. So I ate two slices of cake at 3.30 in the morning. So to those of you who ask if I eat my cakes, <laughs> yes, I do. Why, what, I don't know why I just admitted that. <laughs> oh, the stem on this garlic is really fun. Uh, so many years ago, I saw a video of a sculptor who pressed clay into a mesh strainer and the texture was fantastic. So I'm using the same technique, only I'm using modeling chocolate instead of clay. If you guys have seen this video and you know what I'm talking about or who did it, let me know in the comments because I'd love to give them credit. This looks exactly how I wanted it to, and it was super easy. I've been posting YouTube shorts over the past week, so I've got a lot of new subscribers, and I am so happy to have you. Thanks for being here. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe now because I post a brand new realistic cake every week. And there you have it, a garlic cake. It is all about that wafer paper. This is definitely a level up compared to my first garlic cake. Now let's listen to that crunchy cut. <laughs> 